All right, so on channel, we're starting off this video with a chest and tricep workout. So if you're not interested, go ahead and skip ahead to four minutes and 30 seconds, and I'm gonna hop right into it. So I started off this workout with five minutes on the treadmill, and I did a 10 incline at a three and a half speed, just a nice little walk. A lot of times uh, I recommend if it's colder outside, and this is one of the few cold days here in Houston, but if it is colder outside, I feel my body a little bit tight, and so it's good to kind of get on the treadmill or do something, some sort of activity or jog to kind of get you in the mood, get your body warm and get the blood pumping but with that said I don't recommend doing like a full cardio session just something short sweet uh, to get you going now I warmed up my rotator cuffs with the band I do enjoy using the band more than I recommend using the band more than dumbbells you can either use a band or a cable um, I typically just rotate between those two and I'll do some rotator cuff going outside um, going upwards doing this little stretch for my pecs and rotator cuff here as well and then I want to show you guys one movement that Vinny taught me for my detox that I love doing uh, so check it out on this next clip right here so you can see one palm is supinated and one's pronated so one's facing up and one's facing down and as you go side to side, you're, sw you're swapping your hands. So you're supinating, you're going from up to down and you're reaching. So you reach as you twist and I can't like, I, my back freaking cracks and it feels so good. Here's another one, which is kind of tricky to get, but you want to get into a kind of like a lunge position and you reach up and you want to stretch up. So you're trying to touch the ceiling and you also try to reach out, which is a really unique um, movement that I've been doing to kind of warm up my upper body, which feels really, really good. So, um, I think Vinny and I did a video a long time ago. I'm gonna to try to find it and link it here in the description box where we went over a bunch of upper body like mobility things. He gave me a list of five upper body movements to do before a push workout. And so that will be linked in the description box. Now here I did my first movement, which was a flat dumbbell bench press using the 120 pounds. I think I got eight reps. And one thing I wanna note is that you guys may notice that I'm not particularly like going, I'm not training right now to bench 405 pounds. I think I hit like a 380 or 385 bench press um, last year and I was doing like 315 for sets of eight and I was developing a ton of shoulder pain. And so right now I enjoy sort of focusing on different movements, like different compound movements. So I may do flat dumbbell bench press for like two or three weeks and I may go to a flat bench and do that for a few weeks then go to an incline dumbbell and kind of rotate those three. Uh, but you will notice like if you rotate compound movements, you're not gonna be as strong as if you just stick, stick to one. But for me, my goal right now, um, I wanna keep healthy. I want all my body parts not hurting and so I'm rotating. I'm not lifting crazy, crazy, crazy heavy, but I'm going as heavy as I can with the movements that I'm doing, if that makes sense. So the longer you stick to movement, obviously the stronger and better you're gonna get at it, but I'm kind of rotating movements every few weeks right now. Um, for more bodybuilding stuff. So yeah, I've talked to way too much about that. After that, I did a pec deck, just really focusing on popping my chest out, keeping my back tight, and really stretching out my chest. I attribute so much of my chest growth to flies. I think that flies are just, they're, I literally distribute that over any pushing movement. Uh, I would say that the bench and a fly is like the staple, staple, staple for me, but always incorporate at least one to two flies during your training sessions when you're training chest. And if chest is a weak body part for you, fly, fly, fly. I would say like, honestly two, maybe even three times a week, um, hit a lower volume chest workout and yeah, um, I did a incline barbell press. And so because I did dumbbell, I like to always do at least one dumbbell, one barbell. So I did an incline pause pen, uh, bench, just pausing at the very bottom, holding for a second, staying tight and then exploding up to help me uh, at the bottom half of the motion. And that's where your, your chest is most involved in the bottom half and then your triceps kind of take over as you're pushing up. Uh, tricep movements, I simply did five working sets of a push down and then five sets of this extension. And that was the workout, guys. I did a few sets of rope crunches, but I don't think I filmed that. So hopefully you enjoyed this commentary. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Try it out at home and enjoy the rest of the video. You will never guess what just happened. I was driving to the gym, 8.45 in the morning, and I slammed on my brakes, actually ironically, right at the same exact gas station that I was in a wreck my Lambo a few years back, right in the same spot, I slammed my brakes so I didn't hit this guy right here. And I saw him with the sweater, just like literally in the middle of the highway freaking out and so I got out and just like kind of waited for him to come by and I was just trying to be sweet and grab him. And he came with me, I put him in my car, I already had an in the car. And 
yeah, we have a, he looks like a black lab, maybe a slight pit bull mix. No, it looks like a black lab to me. And super sweet, has a sweater on, has a collar, but he has no dog tag. We just called all the local vets and reported it. I made a post on Facebook, made a post on my Instagram, and now we're just waiting for someone to come and grab him. But he's so sweet. Hello, buddy, hello, 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 hello. I couldn't help but just like think of Nala when she was lost on the highway, and it just scared me, and I just, oh man, but. Jam-packed morning. Jam-packed morning. All right, we're currently out on location. About to do a photo shoot for the women's range that is all dropping on January 20th. How many how many tops do we have? How many things do we have? 22? If you're counting all the colors, 32. 32? 32. 32 women's items dropping. First thing I'm gonna show you guys is the strappy sports bra. This is a strappy booby sports bra. It's, uh, it's very booby. Okay, let me see. Okay, 3D rubber print front and red joggers are not dropping yet they're really sick Skyler's here and we are doing a t-shirt dress this is what size is that extra small or small extra small, extra small. and it looks sick so good. but you guys gotta know uh Skyler's last to real quick <laughs> <laughs> extra oh, it's just like really wide yeah okay, what is it it is a it's our extra small white boat neck boat neck what's boat neck it just means it's a really wide opening for the neck. And on all these t-shirts, we have branding. It's like rubber branding like that. I'll show the back. Super nice. Chad is currently wearing a, oh my God, open back. Open back is what it's called. And the mauve mesh, mesh sports, sports bra. bra. And Becca's got on the- Mauve high-low crop. Mauve high-low crop. It's a hot high and then low. High then low, got it. So we have one kind of like booby bra. And then this is like our modest bra. Yeah, okay, so it has a mesh panel in the middle, but you can't see mm -hmm. anything. If you're uncomfortable with the amount of cleavage that you can see through this mesh panel, you can always just kind of like pull your boobs to the side, and then you don't see anything. Just pull them aside, guys. We made it back from the photo shoot. Checking on Murphy. I had my brother bring some dog food, and uh, so we fed him a few hours ago, we fed him again, he's got water, and uh, he's pretty comfortable, I think. He's, he's chilling, but I feel um, like this ends with us having another dog. Ah, oh, dude. <laughs> so update, he's neutered. Okay, so that's one thing. We called all the local vets, animal shelters, and everything, and like gave him description, gave our contact. No one's called us at all so far. I'm taking him tomorrow to the vet to see if he has a chip. I haven't done that yet, um, but we'll do that tomorrow. So he's gonna sleep in the bathroom here tonight, I think. Just as if he does have fleas, we don't want fleas to be all over the house. But I really like Murphy. <laughs> Hey Murphy. He's a nice dog. You're a nice dog. Holy shit, I love her. <laughs> Can we keep him, Becca? He's growing on me. It's been like three minutes. Look at his leg. Is this just normal tin or what? Is it two way? You don't like it. You don't like it. I don't like it. Ah. Oh. We're currently uh, we're currently getting the office windows tinted. It's kind of hard to see here, but you can see these already have the film on them, and these two don't. Why is it, why is it not good? I can't see it out. Let's see. I mean, you can if you squint. It's like the same on both sides. Ah oh, man. Here's the problem, guys. Here's a let me record this way. Let me yeah. this way. Here's the problem right now. People kind of like linger around here and like kind of look into the office and will kind of like stay in this area and kind of wait for me to come out to maybe like go to the bathroom or something. But it, and that's fine, like kind of working out. But if I'm like working, working and she run to the bathroom or kind of go outside, ask a question, it's, it, it gets kind of annoying in a way. Not annoying. I mean, I mean, it's that, distracting. It's distracting. And this is my office. This is where I need to work. And so I feel like by blocking this in and not letting people look into here, it would help out a little bit. But. I really like to see out. Yeah, I'd like for them not. I like for people not to see in, but us to see out. That'd be ideal. So. I mean, I guess it's, it's not, not. It's just so dark in here. Cause we don't have much light in here naturally, so it's like already dark. And so this brought a lot of light in. Okay, so our solution to the darkness was instead of putting two layers, which we had on before, we took one layer off, and now we just have one layer. So it's not as dark, like looking in, yeah. but it's a lot lighter to see out. So it's kind of like a. Me meeting in the middle kind of thing. I'm gonna finish some work, work out, and then we're gonna see if we can get Murphy back to his owner. Just finished up at the animal hospital, and 
You guys are gonna hate me, but I'm gonna make you wait until the next episode to find out what happened. He just climbed from the very back to the front seat. Now never even attempted to climb through the back, but thank you guys so much for watching the video. Give it a thumbs up. Fingers are crossed for this little guy. <laughs> it's currently 3.30 p.m. and I'm headed back to the vet. If you guys watched the last video, we found Murphy, who's right, look at him, look at him, just laying in the back, dude. Found him in the middle of the road, stopped and I picked him up, and been taking care of him for the last like day and a half, and he is chipped. The owner's finally answered, and they are here. So we're about to get Murphy back to his owners. I don't know if they're here yet, we may just drop them off the vet if they're not here, but it's, it's like bittersweet, man. I'm so happy that he's gonna go back to his owners, because he's such a good dog, and you can tell he's super loved, but uh, I was definitely getting a little attached to him. So sweet. <laughs> his, his name's not really Murphy. His real name is Cash. Cash Money. Come on, buddy. Come on. He's super chill, dude. Just laying down. He doesn't pull on the leash when we walk. So well behaved. I would have totally kept Alright. Who's that? Who's that? Thank you so You're much. You're so welcome. Oh my gosh. Give me a hug. Give me a hug. Give me a hug. That's where he learns it. He gives such good hugs. Oh. You can't give Brittany a hug. Okay, no, no. Another hug? You rip stuff, you rip stuff. No. Oh, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Y'all have a great day. <laughs>